Yes, good evening everyone. Welcome to Lukman IS. This is DTRS session, Daily Tucker Rapid Series, class 163. And today we are going to discuss 10 MCQs. The first MCQ will be discussed on the lead topic, Pakke Paga Hornbill Festival. Okay, so we have framed the descriptive type of question on, ba on the basis of this first topic and there are different uh, kind of let's say 9 MCQs on different 9 important topics from, which are in news recently. But before discussing all these MCQs, let us discuss the first quotation. <coughs> Every day we are discussing one quotation. It is helping us to know more about different let us say philosophies by the different philosophers. Along with that it is also helping us to keep motivated for this preparation of uh, examination. Now today's quotation is by Aristotle and it is talking about the human emotions of jealousy and envy. Okay, so let us understand this because in past UPC has asked several quotations like quotations even uh, let us say quotation by Aristotle itself related to anger. Being angry is easy, but being angry at right time, at right person, at the right degree, this was the quote of the quote. And this year they asked about the hatred. So basically these are based on human emotions. So in future also they can ask about different kinds of human In past they have asked about the happiness also, positive human emotion. Okay. Happiness suno ne pucha hua hai. So there can be question related to these kinds of let us say emotions also. Now what quotation is saying here? Jealousy is both reasonable and belongs to reasonable men. Okay, it is saying that jealousy is reasonable. While envy, this is the second emotion we are talking here, is a base and belongs to the base. That means it basically it is negative value. It is saying that base matlab kya hai? Minimum or we can say negative value belongs to the base for one makes himself get good things by being jealous or by jealousy while the other does not allow his neighbor to have them through envy. Okay, so very important there can be let us say directly this quote can be asked in the mains examination in ethics paper. Jealousy. So, we may have also felt these feelings in our day to day life at home also many times we become jealous of our brother sister also why parents are you know favoring them why uh, my brother is getting good uh, let us say bicycle okay elder brother is getting always new things while I am using his or her older things okay so ye sari cheeze hum hum bachpan se shayad feel karte aaye hue hai Okay, but uh, we may not have understood its impact or we don't know in detail mein pata hai uske mein. But yes, the many philosophers have let's say thought about it and uh, said several things. So like here Aristotle who has propounded virtue ethics, that is completely we can say altogether a different thing. But the quotation itself is saying that jealousy is a positive. According to Aristotle, it is positive emotion. Why? It is reasonable and belongs to reasonable men. Why he is saying positive? Because jealousy helps the person to get good things. Why? Why? Why he is saying that like that the good thing? Basically, if a person is jealous, then he will be more competitive. <coughs> he will try to improve self. He will work on his skills to get ahead okay so let's say at professional levels let's say in professional <coughs> sphere so if suppose someone is jealous of uh, let's say his colleague is getting promotion okay so usko bhi lagta hai ki usko bhi promotion mile so he is having same urge then he will start working on it aisa nahi ki uska negative karne ki koshish karega but rather he will start working on his own skills so he will put in extra efforts there so that he will feel ki mujhe aur zyada acha promotion mile next time jo bhi ho right so that is basically jealousy as explained by aristotle but the negative emotion is envy being envious so being envious is something that let's say does harm rather than good harm to the other person this is what he is saying that does not allow his neighbor to have them 
कि ये जो गुड थिंग्स जो है तो मतलब क्या है कि सेम एग्जांपल है कि आपका कोई एक कलीग जो है वो प्रमो, उसको प्रमोशन मिलने वाला है मिल रहा है एंड देन यू स्टार्ट डूइंग सर्टन लेट्स से निगेटिव थिंग्स टू स्टॉप दैट प्रमोशन और वी कैन से दैट हार्म हिज इमेज तो बेसिकली द पर्सन इज नाउ एनवीएस ठीक है तो ये दोनों का आपको मीनिंग ठीक से समझना है ठीक है ताकि अगर क्वेश्चन किसी भी तरीके से पूछा जाए तो आपको ये मीनिंग सही से बताने आए और एग्जाम्पल्स भी फाइन ओके सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट टूडे टेन टॉपिक्स दीज आर द टॉपिक्स लेट्स गो इन डिटेल वन बाय वन ऑनलाइन स्टूडेंट्स गिव योर आंसर्स क्विकली फटाफट आंसर दो इसके ठीक है तो डिस्क्रिप्टिव टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन वी हैव फ्रेम्ड हियर राइट सो नीशी ट्राइबल ग्रुप्स इन हैबिट दिस प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया विच इज होम फॉर फोर स्पेसीज ऑफ हॉर्नबिल्स द नेम्स आर मैंशन हियर A festival dedicated to raising awareness on the conservation of hornbills is celebrated by these tribal groups in their state since 2015. Okay, we have to identify this based on this information. Now, the key information here is Nishi tribal group first, and second is hornbills. Or hornbill festival also. If you may, if you may come across that. So hornbills largely in northeast India. If you say Arunachal Pradesh and Nagaland, hornbill festivals are very famous here in both. Okay, Arunachal Pradesh. Now Nishi tribes are found, or let's say, are located in Arunachal Pradesh. If you prepare, so Nishi hills or Nishi tribes are located there along the border with Assam. so these tribal people are involved in the conservation of the the hornbill bird species there and they celebrate this festival theek hai to ye festival jo hai wo hai pakke paga uh, hornbill festival and that is the the state festival also of arunachal pradesh theek hai pakke tiger reserve it is mentioned here the protected area is pakke tiger reserve In past also, you can say in 2018 there was question related to Pakhui Wildlife Sanctuary, which is part of uh, we can say part of Pakhui Tiger Reserve in Arunachal Pradesh. ठीक है तो उस टाइम पे Tiger Reserve से actually एक road construction हो रहा था उस टाइम पे news था उस बाल पूछ लिया U P C ने ठीक है तो you should be ready with such kind of let's say topics which are in news protected areas in news. Fine, prepare as homework. Let's say other protected areas of Arunachal Pradesh like we have Nam Dafa <coughs> National Park and Tiger Reserve. उस तरीके से सारा आप जो है state wise तैयार करके रखिए. At the same time the tribes and the hills. ठीक है तो वहाँ पर जो जो hills है तो वो उनके tribal people ethnic communities who are inhabiting those hills तो उनके नाम पर है. राइट सो यू कैन प्रिपेयर दैट यहाँ पे देखो मैप भी दिया हुआ है प्रोटेक्टेड एरियाज का राइट सो हियर यू कैन सी लोकेशन पक्के यहाँ पर जो है वो नाम डाफा ठीक है अलॉन्ग द बॉर्डर हियर पक्के विद आसाम एंड द ईस्टर्न मोस्ट प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया और वी कैन से टाइगर रिजर्व नाम डाफा नाम डाफा नेशनल पार्क एंड टाइगर रिजर्व ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइन डायरेक्ट टू मोबाइल टेक्नोलॉजी डायरेक्ट टू मोबाइल टेक्नोलॉजी consider the following statements about this it can broadcast videos other multimedia content directly to the mobile phones even without active internet connection this is true similar to what we have fm radio so fm radio simply tuning into that particular frequency the device can play the songs or whatever the the content that is broadcasted simply it is a kind of convergence be, between broadband and broadcast we can say theek hai so we can say this is both statements are correct here answer should be c theek hai answer should be c fine now moving on next is alpha fold what is uh, let's say the term term based questions term based questions i had even past told you the areas that you should be ready with science and technology environment international relations and we can say <coughs> economics term based questions meaning or related context usse related aapko puch raha hai 
right so what is this alpha fold shift in the dynamic of earth's magnetic poles a ai tool developed to predict and publish the structure of proteins recent warping detections in space time continuum by jeps well web telescope collaborative sa satellite system between isro and uh, european space agency to detect movement of tectonic plates so the correct answer is it is the ai technology or ai tool to predict and publish the structure of different proteins alpha fold okay so it is very specific you should remember this artificial intelligence tool hai theek hai ai developments so many developments are happening so try to keep a tab on all those developments alpha fold theek hai now next is western disturbances yes it was in news there was one study saying that uh, due to less amount of uh, number of uh, western disturbances in recent years the amount of snowfall has reduced in jammu and kashmir and western himalayas overall theek hai so western disturbances are high pressure system here itself you should cut it wrong we know that western disturbances are low pressure systems of course they are the cyclonic storms theek hai low pressure <clears throat> yes of course they are originating in mediterranean region and they are moving eastward across the central asia they are dragged by we can say subtropical westerly jet stream and many times they enter into south uh, northwestern india giving very import let's say uh, very beneficial rainfall for rabi crops like wheat at the same time snowfall in the western himalayas so winter pre precipitation in himalayan region is caused mainly by western disturbances this is true okay so first one is incorrect and that's why answer is b2 only b2 only theek hai okay fine now moving on yes it is talking about the coral bleaching and we know the phenomenon corals are having symbiotic relation symbiotic relation between coral polyps plus zooxanthellae <coughs> these zooxanthellae are we can say producing their own food and they are providing food to coral polyps which are heterotrophs but these zooxanthellae are living in the bodies of this coral polyps and these are colorful they are providing colors to coral polyps and coral polyps are in turn providing protection to zooxanthellae इस तरीके से ये सिम्बायोटिक रिलेशन है नो वेन देर आर टेम्परेचर एंड सैलिटी चेंजेस इन द ओशन वॉटर और वी कैन से दैट देर इज इंक्रीज टर्बिडिटी और पोल्यूशन इन द ओशन वॉटर इंक्रीज वी कैन से एसिडिटी ओशन एसिडिफिकेशन ऑल दिज फैक्टर्स कैन लीड टू कोरल ब्लीचिंग और वी कैन से देर कैन बी ऑल्सो कोरल डिसीजेस दैट लीड्स टू मास स्केल कोरल डेथ A coral bleaching is basically simply discoloration due to breaking of this bond between coral polyps and zooxanthellae breaking of this bond theek hai they are not living together because of uh, let's say several factors like increase or decrease in temperature right so variation in ocean temperature due to climate change has become major source of coral bleaching this is true we can say global warming is one of the factor during the event corals die after expelling algae zooxanthellae living in their tissue yes they expel but corals do not die corals do survive such kind of events and later on again there is symbiotic relation and the colonies are formed by the corals theek hai so it is basically breaking of this bond symbiotic relation and not we can say that dying ठीक है तो सेकंड स्टेटमेंट इज इनकरेक्ट ओनली वन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर ठीक है सो इन इंडिया वी सी कोरल रीव्स आर फाउंड इन पार्क बे रीजन और इवन वी कैन से दैट इन अंदमान एंड निकोबार लक्ष्मीप आइलैंड आर कोरल एटॉल्स इवन कोरल्स आर आल्सो फाउंड इन द गल्फ ऑफ कच्छ ठीक है तो यू शुड नो अबाउट दिस मेजर कोरल रीजन इन इंडिया एंड द ग्रेट बैरियर रीफ नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न कोस्ट ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया इज द फेमस वन ठीक है what about this one inflation so inflation is basically general rise in the prices of goods and services the usko hum kya bolte hai inflation bolta hai right there are different types of inflation like headline inflation core inflation and we can say that uh, 
how the inflation is measured. So there is retail inflation, wholesale inflation, and this is measured uh, in different indices by the government. But here it is talking about the concept. So core inflation includes food and fuel items while headline inflation excludes them. Now this is opposite of it. Basically headline inflation includes food and fuel and that's why it is more volatile. We know that the prices of fuel and food is very volatile. Kabhi badta hai, kabhi kam ho jata hai. Because different, let's say, food articles or we can say that the oil is imported from the, let's say, outside the country and because of international price changes in those crude oil, the prices of the fuel changes within the country also continuously. And that's why headline inflation is more volatile as compared to core inflation which excludes these two. Core inflation, like for example, it is including the manufacturing sector largely, we can say that the heavy uh, industries and whatever the produce, uh, products from those industries. Okay, So this is incorrect. Core inflation is more volatile. No, rather it is more stable than the headline inflation. Headline inflation is more volatile. Dono statement incorrect hai. Okay, opposite the way. So D is the correct answer. Right. Now moving on. Yes, anti-defection law is in news because of, let's say, the Maharashtra Assembly Speaker's judgment on, let's say, disqualification of MLAs. So, uski wajay se news mein tha anti-defection law. Now, consider the following statement. The law provides exemption for disqualification to the members of the house on the ground of split within his or his legislation. Anti-defection law ka basic aapko zaroo pata anti-defection law was brought in 1985 in order to you know check the the crossing of the floors frequent crossing of the floors or even we can say horse trading and to ensure stability of the government to ensure stability of the government right now this has been many times misused also that becomes the part of mains examination right hai usko analytical part jo hota hai mains ke perspective se taiyar kariye now there are different grounds mentioned in the, uh, let's say, law or we can say the 10th schedule. It includes 10th schedule in the Indian constitution. Okay. So, it provides for different grounds for disqualification. And one of them is it provides the exemption from the disqualification to the members of the house on the grounds of split within. Now, split pe nahi deta hai, ye exemption jo hai, wo merger pe hai. Okay. Split pe nahi hai. Earlier it was sp split. ठीक है तो ये जो है कौन सा अमेंडमेंट किया हुआ था 52nd कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट एक्ट 1985 दिस ब्रॉट द एंटी डिफेक्शन लॉ बट देयर वाज लेटर ऑन 91st कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट एक्ट 91st कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट व्हिच एडेड दिस प्रोविजन ऑफ मर्जर लॉ स्टिपुलेट्स दैट द डिस्कवालिफिकेशन पोजीशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द मेंबर ऑफ हाउस कैन बी फाइल्ड बाय एनी मेंबर बिलोंगिंग टू दैट हाउस now, you should know that disqualification petition can be filed by any member of other house also. It's not like that you have to do that, that house member has to do that. So, this is also incorrect. The law bars the nominated member of the house from joining political party after six months of taking seat in the house, taking oath in the house. This is correct. So two statements are incorrect. Only, what is the command in the command? Incorrect. And that's why only one statement is correct here. In addition to that, the other provisions which are there <coughs> related to disqualification, if let's say there is the member of the house voluntarily gives up the membership of the po political party, okay, political party is there, then thereafter nominated members if they join any political party after 6 months after 6 months ठीक है तो ये important provisions आपको पता होने चाहिए grounds जो दिये हुए है fine now let's move on to next question PBTGs in past also you can see 2019 में PBTG पे question आया हुआ था so basics you should know that <coughs> particularly vulnerable tribal group PBTGs are we can say more vulnerable 
within scheduled tribes, we can say, or tribal community, they are more vulnerable. So, separate category has been, uh, we can say, included as a PBTG, particularly vulnerable tribal groups. So, at present, there are total 75 such tribal groups identified in the country and maximum are located 13 in Odisha. Okay, these 75 are spread in 18 states and one union territory. Yes, sahi tha statement usme. Right, so we have to identify the correct statement among these. They are mainly concentrated in Andaman and Nicobar Island and Northeast India. Not needed. Okay, Central India may be zada hai. Jaise Odisha mein hum dekhte, Eastern India may be. This is incorrect. Uttar Pradesh has no tribes under PVTG. Ye bhi sahi nahi hai. <coughs> Yaha par... Two tribes are Uttar Pradesh and Bihar which come to PVTGs. Population density is one of the criteria for identification? Not. Not the population density. Rather, there are, let's say, uh, factors or criteria. We can say criteria like stagnant or declining population is one of the criteria. And the level of education, level of, we can say that, progressiveness among the, the communities. So, population density is not. Declining population. They were created as separate category as the recommendation of Debhar Commission. This is true. 1970s mein, 72 mein, Debhar Commission jo report jo tha, uske basis pe ye actually unhone recommend kiya hua tha. So, government adopted this. And earlier it was named particular tribal group and now they, they were renamed as particularly vulnerable tribal groups. D is the correct answer here. Right? Okay. Now, next is, yes, 30 meter telescope. This project, 30 meter diameter telescope working in the of the electromagnetic spectrum. This is correct statement. It is set up in Nainital by Aryabhatta Research, Aries, Devasthal. Now, this is not correct. Rather, it is located in Mauna Kea, island of Hawaii, in Pacific, Hawaii, USA in Pacific, Mauna Kea, okay, volcanic mountain, we can say uh, island, there are many telescopes, but this is the collaborative efforts including India, okay, India, Canada, France, these are all countries, they have collaborative efforts, India is also part of it. Recently, some of the, let's say, scientific community members, they visited uh, Hawaii, Mauna Kea, this site for this project purpose, so this is the news, mein tha, okay. So, only one is the correct answer here. Fine? Okay. Now, moving on to the last question. Graphene. We know the graphene is the allotroph of carbon. Like diamond is there or graphite is there. Okay. So, allotroph hai, but it ka, it's ka jo structure hai. It is the one atom thick layer of carbon arranged in the hexagonal lattice. That is okay, hexagonal two dimensional, hexagonal two dimensional web like structure, <coughs> web like structure. It is poor conductor of heat and electricity, incorrect, rather, it is very good conductor. That's why it is having a lot of applications. Recently, with the use of graphene, there was let's say first semiconductor was manufactured. Okay, semiconductor. That's why it, it was in news. So, this is incorrect. A is the correct answer. Right? Science and technology. Okay. Fine then. These are the 10 MCQs. Any question from your side? Okay. From Monday onwards, we are going to start with the foundation batch at Lukman IS and the first module will be economy module. You must be watching the demo sessions that are happening or we can say the orientation session right? rather of different subjects and you can see the quality of faculty and the way we are going to teach at Lukman IS in the foundation batch. If you have not done any foundation course yet, uh, you should join the Lukman IS because we are not only providing, let's say, the quality aspect, we are also, let's say, focusing more on the, the let's say, result. Theek hai? Hame result chahiye. Us orientation se hum student ko guide karte hai. And personalized attention जो हम बोलते हैं कि students को, जो हम देखते हैं कि जब when the 300, 400 students are sitting in the classroom, that becomes difficult for the faculties to, you know, have the personalized touch to the students. 
So uh, uh, here at Lukman IS, we can have that and the students find it very helpful because they get a mentor in the whole preparation ke journey. Mein. So if you are feeling that uh, you want that such kind of guidance, then you can join Lukman IS Foundation Batch, which is starting on Monday. Fine? Okay, let us start. Thank you.